Yo, yo, welcome to the video. Pay attention. It's called progress, not competition. Unless you are a paid athlete or a paid professional, you're not competing with other people. Your progress is gonna take as long as it should take. That's it. You're not competing with somebody else just because somebody else lost X amount of pounds and X amount of body fat and X amount of days or weeks or months or whatever. That's them, that's not you. And I used to be somebody like that who was always comparing himself to another person with abs or another person who could squat or bench or deadlift this. And the only thing that it will get you is frustrated. Everyone's journey is different. And everyone has different lessons to learn on their journey. The quickest way that you're gonna make progress is by doing the work. People who develop shortcuts did the work in order to understand what works for them and what makes life easier for them, right? So learning how to cook, I used to follow step-by-step -step instructions, but now after doing it for so many years, I understand like how I can combine, how I can cook two things at once, or I can cook three things at once, or I don't really need this much of that because I adjusted to my taste buds. Had I followed somebody else's shortcut, I would have not known what to adjust and what to have made better for the only thing for the things that I like to cook. Same thing with working out. If I follow somebody else's shortcut and and their hack of how to do certain exercises, I wouldn't have learned the proper way and then what fits my what what's the best way for me to do something. The same way with everyone wanting like a specific meal plan. How about if you're just given a list of things that you should have and then you look up how to cook these things and the best way and the fastest way and the most optimal way and then you'll develop shortcuts and then you'll realize, yo, I don't really need like 10 healthy things. I probably just need six. And then after a while, it's like, okay, I can split up these six things. I don't have to have them every single day. I can have someone, I can have certain things on a training day. I can have certain things on a rest day. You learn what works from you from doing the work and then shortcutting it so that you can do things more efficient. Which segues into the next thing. Happiness is found in the journey, not the destination. Start off with saying I got a homegirl in Florida right now who's working on a business and other things and she has a lot on her plate. She doesn't understand it now but I already know like she's going to be successful, she's going to be big and she's going to make a name for herself because she's willing to put in the work. She doesn't complain about like oh it's so much and I don't know if I could do this and blah blah blah. She's just like I got a lot of things to do and this is what I have to work on and that's it. She's not scared because of how much work is in front of her. Even though she was like, oh, I just want to reach the already and I was telling her, I could always relate everything into my journey of becoming fit, becoming healthy and accepting and loving myself and being happy with who I am today. It's a journey like you're going to have so many stories over the years of like a lot of mistakes that you've made, a lot of things that you've overcame. If you were to just be a one like an overnight success, think about it like this, right? College, I got a bunch of stories. And had I done a, a shortened version of college, I wouldn't have had four years of experience and four years of debt. But what I'm saying is like, if you go through the steps and you go through the journey and, you t and it takes as long as it should, you're gonna learn to enjoy the process because once you reach that goal, what's next? There's always something next. There's always something else for you to work on. So don't always, don't even like even now, I kind of wish I was where I want to be, but the things that I'm learning along the way is making me a stronger man. It's making me a better person. It's making me able to help more people because I can do things one day at a time, one step at a time, one person at a time. If I were to blow up right now and have like a million followers, but I couldn't reach everyone that I wanted to, what point would that be? Like I could help out, I could help a lot of people with general advice, but I couldn't help people on a one-on-one -on -one basis, especially with the way how things are set up at the gym that I work at. It's one on one, four on one, or like if I do a class of like 15, but what I'm saying is like, it's baby steps. Baby steps will get you a lot further, faster, and it's gonna last longer rather than an overnight success, then it's too much and it's overwhelming and then you get, you, you have like all of this fear and you start to break down because it's more than what you can handle. I had a client this morning and then we were working on doing barbell back squats. She told me she never did it before. I coached her and she got it and she understood the concept really quick. I'm learning different ways to cue people differently for the same exercise. Not everybody understands it the way how I learn it and how I understand it. So you gotta be able to adapt with other people and teach people different ways. Like this is the same message 
gets across to people in different ways. You just gotta figure out what fits best for this person and what do you think is the safest way for this person to perform exercises. What's the what's gonna help this person with their nutrition? What's gonna help this person with their business, with their life, with their relationships, things like that. So I told her like, and she was getting frustrated. Why am I not getting this? I just wanna be great. I want it right now. And I'm like, yo, listen, don't have the mindset. I wanna get it. I wanna be great on the first attempt. Have the mindset that I want to be great and I'm not going to stop until I get there. That's it. She was like, you know what? A bunch of other things I told her in early in the session, but she was just like, every time I slow down and explain things to her, it's easier for her to understand it and she feels better and she feels more confident. So don't think I just want to be the best, the best, the best right now. I want to be the best and I'm going to put in the work to be the best. If you're willing to ask for it, you should be willing to work for it. And then the last thing that we talked about was she's not happy with her, with her weight. She knows she messed up along the way. Over the past few months, she's put on weight, but it's from like stress from life, from work, from blah, 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 whatever. I told her like, listen, I used to be overweight myself. If you have two options, if you don't like the way how you look, let's say this, I don't tell, I told her like, I don't tell people like, oh, you should lose weight so you could look good and feel good. Let's talk about your health. How do you feel? Do you like the way how things are at the weight that you are right now? If the answer is no, and you keep continuing doing the things that you're doing, eventually the doctor is going to put you on medications that you have to buy and that you have to take every single day unless you will die. So this is a matter of, of your health, not a matter of your aesthetics. So I told her, there's people who don't want to track calories and don't want to work out. If you eat bad foods and you don't move as much as you should, your health is going to deteriorate to the point where a doctor is going to force you to buy things and take it daily. When you could have avoided that stuff if you took care of it right now, it'll take you less than a month. It'll take you a month, maybe like a month, a month and a half, if you track calories every single day to understand what's good for your body. A diet that you can have that's sustainable and that you can keep it long term versus giving up because it's not fun and you don't like it and what's the point? If you don't take care of yourself now, you will have to take care of yourself later. <sighs> that was a long rant. All right. Keep dreaming, keep believing, keep working, be somebody, let's get it.